day six. It's a rainy day. It's let up just a little bit, but I love hearing the sound of the rain on the roof. So our goal today is to remove this wall completely and the back two bunks. One of the unique challenges that's come with the schoolie compared to a lot of other builds is that while the demolition and rust removal is finished, the wiring was also already done, but I can't completely trust the wiring that's in this bus. A lot of things are disconnected, I don't know where the wires go, and I don't know how much I can trust the safety of it. I've heard that bad wiring is the number one cause of fires in schoolies, and that's not something that I'm willing to risk. So I'm going to need to take apart every single wall and ceiling panel in this school bus to make sure that all of the wiring is done safely. Additionally, I need to do that while salvaging as much material as possible. Unfortunately, my dance skills are beyond salvageable. wall sucks. I hate it. He's got wires going straight through the top, right at the edge of it. And I can't push the wires through the ceiling because the holes aren't big enough. But I can't really move the wall because the holes are kind of catching it. So, <sighs> lots of fun. I need a vacuum so I can clean out this bottom section so I can see where the screws are. However, I don't think I have enough power for that right now, and I don't have anywhere to plug in, and I don't have solar installed yet, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I'm sure I'll figure it out quick. Oh, why am I doing this? I mean, like, it's fun, but what, is this what normal people do? Like, do they just build school buses and stuff? Like, I thought people just played video games and watched anime or something. I don't know. I don't know what people do. I'm weird. I'm weird. Oh. I'm taking a quick walk to clear my mind, but it's starting to rain harder, so I think I need to get back inside. get used to this. I just feel like I'm more connected to the world in here than I am in a big boxy house. I'm more willing to open windows to look outside. To notice the sounds of the weather. I think I'm gonna like this. While I don't have her on the build site with me today, I try to always remember who I'm doing this for. Child, innocent as It's easy to get discouraged and overwhelmed on such a big project like this. Something that's really helping me today is thinking back on some of the fun memories that I've had with my parents, my siblings, our family dog, and most importantly, my daughter. It helps me get excited for all of the big adventures we'll be able to have once the bus is done. I'd like to take a minute or two to share some of those memories with you.
Good hiking, Eva. Wings on butterflies at last. All right. Let's see if you can catch me. <laughs> You're so close. You can catch me. I'll carry you. But you gotta catch me first! <laughs> oh, you got me! Ah, oh, time for up up. <laughs> Here, try standing in it again. I gotcha! I gotcha! <laughs> Thank you for joining in those memories. My daughter and I have always had a strong connection with nature, and we've bonded in our sense of adventure and excitement. I'm so excited for this bus to be finished so that we can get on the road and start having new adventures every single day. I'm just hoping that not too many of those adventures have to include my dancing because it is still not salvageable. This area is feeling so much more open now. I need a vacuum. There's so much sawdust inside these walls. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see a bit more of what my plan is. This wall is going to stay as it is. Um, I put a piece that goes right up to the window level because that's where my daughter wants her bed. And then there's going to be a wall here. It'll go across so that when my bed's right here, I still have a little bit of room. Not a ton, mostly just an entryway, but I'll have at least a little bit of room to go ahead and step and get to my clothes and stuff before jumping onto my bed. We've got about 10 inches between the wall and where my bed is. And that we're actually gonna be doing a pretty awesome special project that I'm really excited for. So we'll get to that in a few weeks. I'd really like to get the light circuits set up so that they are <laughs> the correct lights and their correct frames. For some reason, he's got a strip going all the way through and then separate lights on either side. I think because it was four bunks, so this wasn't considered its own room. There were hall lights and then a switch for each of these four sets of lights. So I'm probably gonna need to pull the ceilings down. Maybe I'll just be able to unscrew a few of the bolts and just lower it down enough since it's flexible to be able to reach in and change the wiring. We will see how that goes. As you can see right now, it is a mess in here with Amazon boxes and all kinds of wood all over uh, from different pieces. 
Same within the bathroom, there's just tons of pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sorting these out. Now that I've got this back room emptied out, I'm gonna sort it out into piles so that it's a little easier to get around in here. All right. <sighs> Front room still doesn't look that organized because it's got all the boxes and stuff, but I feel so much better kind of seeing what all I have, being able to take stock. Honestly, from the bunks that I took apart, I may actually have enough two by fours to build half my kitchen cabinets. So that is exciting. I may actually start with the bathroom first. I'm still trying to decide because I already have a bathroom faucet, but not a kitchen faucet, but we will see. Either way, I'm really excited. All right, got this room emptied out, everything organized in the very back of the bus. So next, we have some damage to these walls. When the guy that was building this bus stopped, it was a pretty sudden thing, and so I think he had probably planned on finishing the ceiling on the windows, but didn't. And so a lot of moisture has gotten into to a few of the different ones. So I'm going to have to rip out quite a bit of this wood and replace it. I also want to make sure I check behind the wood to make sure there was no water damage or rust or anything to anything behind it. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Everything behind that wood looks okay. There's a few spots that'll probably touch up with some rust protection, but other than that, we should be good. Time for the next one. This next one is gonna be tough because it actually goes behind the wall to the next right, so. I'm going to have to unscrew it from both sides. Alright. So, that wraps up week one. It is late on Saturday night. It's 11.43. I'm going to get to sleep. So, to recap our first week, so we got the bus. <laughs> Crazy to think that was less than a week ago. Um, dealt with lots of drama with the landlord that is still ongoing. We got the batteries and inverter set up. We also got a 24 volt to 12 volt converter. So we've got that running some wires up to these lights. I'm eventually going to be getting rid of all of these lights actually and starting fresh with something totally different that i think you guys are going to love i've never seen it on any other school bus exactly the way i'm doing it so i'm really excited but that is going to take time and money and so i'm trying to figure it out because it's a project that'll be much easier before you know installing all the walls and everything but don't have the uh money to drop on it right now so I'm gonna hold off on that. So for now, we're just gonna kind of keep these wired as they are. But I'm really excited to show everyone that project. This is all cleared out. I have a few cabinets and entertainment center and dresser and nightstand and other things from Ikea that are all the same brand, they're all matching, and I really like their style. And so I'm actually gonna be repurposing a lot of those as much as I can into this build. 
it's I think it's gonna look cool. I'm hoping I can get a paint color that matches and glass that matches and all of that. So the very first item is going to be actually my entertainment center. It's gonna be over here, but I'm gonna be repurposing that. So you guys will see next week what it is and uh, I will catch you then. See you guys.